Good morning and happy Giving Tuesday from the Tourette Association of America. Um, so we're about a half hour off course. I was due to do this at 10 o'clock, but as usual, you know, the needs of the Tourette community never wait for our schedules. So here I am. Uh, I'm here to encourage you to give today. Open your hearts, your wallets, which are super important. Um, you know, if you're watching this, chances are you are touched by somebody who has Tourette syndrome. Either you yourself are dealing with it, or a relative, or a friend. Uh, in my case, you know, I have some friends who who are dealing with Tourette syndrome. Their children are impacted, so you know, shout out to them. Um, but you know, why I'm really here is because you know, Thanksgiving was this week, and I don't know how many of you were snowed in. Um, as of yesterday, uh, but you know, yesterday was Cyber Monday and today's Giving Tuesday and it's an international day of giving and we're asking you to help support us. Um, you know, about half of all people who have Tourette syndrome, uh, you know, the count is about over a million, uh, about half of them don't even know that they have it. I actually just had a phone call yesterday with um, a young man who knows and has known for many years that, that he had Tourette syndrome but didn't know that we existed as an organization. He had no idea that there was an advocacy organization uh, here to support people just like him. And I'm hoping we can change all of that. And, and I come into the office every day uh, thinking about, you know, the, the person who might not ever find the TAA, you know, the person whose child is making noises or, you know, not sitting still in class and getting in trouble for it and nobody really understands why and the child doesn't understand why or maybe you're even an adult you know in your 40s and this was your experience and you didn't know why for most of your life you know that's that's the stuff that keeps us here at the TAA up at night and that's the stuff we really want to work to change but we can't do that without you right because we are a nonprofit and at the end of the day whether we want to admit it or not you know uh, nonprofits they work they work on money you know, we need money just like anybody else uh, to do what we do. Uh, but the good news is, is that we're doing a lot with the money that you give us. Um, you know, you know, 71% of caregivers of children with uh, Tourette syndrome, uh, you know, said that that diagnosis came in less than two years compared to adults um, who responded, said it took them up to 10 years to get that diagnosis. I mean, maybe there's even some people who are watching who it took even longer than that. Um, so I bring that up because it shows that our efforts, our awareness efforts, uh, the work that we've done to talk to people about what Tourette is and more importantly what it isn't, it's changing the course of people's lives, right? The earlier you get that diagnosis, the more likely you are to get the support you need in school, the more likely you are to be able to explain to your peers why you're doing the things that you're doing and the more likely they are to accept that about you. Um, you know, that's, you know, that's, that's why we're here, uh, and we need you. And some of you are already helping us out. So I want to thank everybody who's already given today. Joe from Colorado, Elizabeth from New York, Karen from New York. Um, you know, who else do we have here? Xi Ping, which, you know, I apologize if I pronounced that wrong from California. Thank you so much for your generous gift. Um, and for those who have already started some Facebook fundraisers on our behalf, uh, Jeannie, Victoria, Loretta, Michelle, Viola, uh, we thank you. Uh, so, you know, I'm not going to talk whole numbers. You know, we don't really have a goal for today, so to speak. Um, I think what I would say our goal is for today is for you, if you're watching this, and if this is something that is important to you, if uh, increased understanding about Tourette syndrome, if increased awareness of Tourette syndrome, if the ability for people to um, you know, get more support in their communities. If, if, if any of that is important to you, I'm asking you to share this out with your network, share this out with your family, with your friends, and tell them why an organization like the Tourette Association is so important. If you've been helped by this organization, if you've been helped by a single person involved with this organization, whether as a staff member or a volunteer, you know, make a gift in their honor, uh, you know, share out how we've helped you um, encourage others to make it possible for us to help the people coming behind you. Um, you know, that's all I really ask. You know, as the president and CEO of this organization, um, you know, that's, what, what more can I really ask of you? 
right? Um, so I thank you in advance because I know you're gonna do it. I know we're gonna, you know, get hundreds of people uh, to, to give anything they can, you know, whether it's $5 or $50 or 5,000 or maybe even 50,000, that would be super nice, wouldn't it? Um, but you know, it's, we don't do this just for the sake of doing it. We don't raise money just for the sake of raising money. We raise money because every dollar we bring in represents another person we can help. Um, so I, I hope that you help us achieve those goals. So thanks so much and have a fantastic Giving Tuesday. Check back with us later. We're gonna have some staff uh, talking about all the fabulous programs that we've been running over the course of this year and some of the new programs we'll be running in the coming year. Um, so thank you.